Hey guys, Rob here with South Florida Builds, and once again, we're here working on the Saturn SD 518 inflatable boat. If it looks like I'm dying, it's because I am. It is a hot one here in South Florida. The humidity is redonk. Anywho, so like I said in a previous video, I wanted to get aluminum box tubing, one inch by two inch, and run spines to run from front to back of the boat. And that is exactly what we're doing today running them all the way down and basically I'm running uh, these grip right I got uh, from Home Depot max stainless steel um, star drive inch and five eighth uh, long screws and I'm running them every three I count one every three panels and stick one in there I'll probably add more at some point but what I did here to ensure that it wouldn't cause any problems. I slid the end of this uh, this uh, spine here over the floorboard and then held the screw up to where it would penetrate to to ensure that it would not penetrate the bottom level of the aluminum floor. So I, I made sure that it will not penetrate and screw up anything on the boat as far as the bottom and the fabric goes. But just started drilling, running screws in. I need to put one in the middle there, but the seat's in the way. I'll do those last. And I'm running it all the way up to the front of the boat here just shy of where the wood begins because that front section does need to flex um, the whole floor is completely flat when i laid the uh, aluminum bar on there i was shocked that it was actually perfectly flat it didn't you know i didn't have to push down or do anything to, to make the floor flat to, to drill this in it just laid right up um, it's just going to give that extra strength we've got our side uh, spine still in our side supports in uh, rather still in I uh, hammered them back into position after they got bent up and all that, but this is just an extra level of protection to make the boat super, super rigid. I've never seen anybody do this before. So, I mean, this is kind of like a, an experiment here <laughs> at my expense. You guys will get to see it done here first and, you know, see how it works. You know, at the very least, it should make the boat way more rigid in chop, uh, wake and such, and um, it should make the boat ride better. It should make it plane better. Uh, it should be less cavitation because that... Uh, keel bladder is going to be able to do its job better again the reason why they put these support struts in here and didn't do it this way is because these boats are meant to be broken down and be able to store uh, in a small uh, area so they had to make the floor you know components separate panels that you could disassemble but like I said these big boats I don't know anybody at disassembling a 17 footer or a 16 footer or even a 15 footer for that matter every time they go out and forth most people are throwing them on trailers and that's where they'll stay. So with that being said, I don't need to worry about disassembly. I just need something that's gonna be rigid. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm gonna make a little more progress. When I get a little more done, we'll take some more footage and we'll go from there. All right, kids. Now that I'm about 10 to 15 pounds lighter from loss of sweat, <laughs> we got them in. Both sides and then straight up front to back. I don't know how long these uh, stainless steel screws will hold, um, but again, worst case scenario, if they don't hold and I have to disassemble the boat, drill out all the panels, put round head bolts on there and do all that, if I have to do all that, I will, but I'm trying not to. So first step is just to run a multitude of stainless steel screws down through this into the floor panels and hope that it holds. I mean, I could put 5200 on the screws to, to make sure they don't come loose, but I want to be able to take them out if I wanted to or needed to for any reason. 5200 is really strong stuff, so I don't want to do that. But that's where we're at, folks, and hopefully this should give us uh, some good stability. The reason why I gapped it away from the edge there like that is because that's where the feet of the seats falls, and it's also going to help you know, stabilize and keep the feet planted where they need to be without the seat shifting side by side. Not that they do, the tubes hold them in place pretty tight, but um, I wanted to give that gap there so that there was room for the feet to set in there. So that's where we're at, kids. Um, this has uh, been a pretty quick project. The heat aside and humidity levels aside, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Um, picking up the materials like local all row metals uh, warehouse was uh, I think it was like 132 and change for the two nine and a half foot sticks that I bought of eighth you know one eighth uh, thickness one by twos should also note that I have plastic pipe plugs like what you see on furniture that push in on the ends end caps that I ordered four from eBay for 10 bucks they'll be here in a, in a few days 
so that way nobody's going to cut themselves on the sharp edges on the uh, aluminum. They're going to have nice finished caps. It's going to look like, like it was actually meant to be that way and not just something I jerry-rigged. Of course, I'm going to clean all that up and everything, uh, and it'll look, it'll look like it's part of the boat. Um, so that's it folks uh, till next time we'll, we'll you know hopefully the next video will be testing this and see how this works see if we've got any improved performance or if we've got more work to do so uh, until next time guys thanks for watching if you like uh, the videos please like and surprise like and subscribe Ugh, god the heat's gone to my brain <laughs> uh, and we'll see you next time